Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will do a minimalistic drawing of the singer Rihanna. We begin by marking some measurements for the size of the eye, the distance to the other eye, and we do the shape. We mark the end of the nose and the mouth. Good. It will have this width. By the way, I'm taking these measurements from a reference photo. Having the correct position and size of the different parts, we can now draw them better. The top leg goes a little bit more arched and slightly lower. The iris and the pupil. Good. We refine this eyebrow and the lead. And now we draw the other one. Very good. I like seeing how the face appears on the paper. With the black of the color pencil set, we can softly delineate the eyelids. And we fill in the pupil, leaving a reflection. We get some gray on the outer edge of the iris and reddish brown to the inside. Then we blend with a light green. The white of the eye is never totally white, so we give it some gray. Rihanna has outstanding eyes. I hope I can render them well. We continue adding tones of gray and other colors so as to enrich them and give them volume. Good. We repeat the procedure with the other eye. This is so fun to do! The list of materials is in the information below the video. The border of the iris goes a little bit darker and with some design. We give it the reddish tone to the inside of the eyelids and do the lashes. And now the brows. For this we can give a light base tone and then we draw the texture on it. Very good. Here we have already marked where the end of the nose goes. Now we do some shading on it. We delineate the lips with an alizarin crimson, which is a dark red, and we can also use it for some internal parts and so create some changes in tone. And we fill in over this with a pink. You can change the colors, of course. The areas in shade can use more crimson and the reflections we get them with white. The ear goes here because we are looking at the face slightly downwards. Good. The chin. And to give the feeling of the hair, I will only do a few lines. Because as I told you, I want this drawing to be minimalistic. Good, it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.